Okay, so this is my um, paint station that I have. And this is a um, paint stand that I actually made on my 3D printer. So it rotates around and then each one of these rotate around. So it holds six paints in each. And that way I've got these um, other MIG paint sets which seem to be six bottles each. So I thought if I put them in six bottles I'll keep all the sets together. So makes pretty good storage really so it doesn't take up much room and this is my spray booth and I have a light there which is a um, 2000 lumen uh, LED light inside rather bright and I have the hose that eventually goes out the window when I actually use it and here's my um, little compressor so I use a braided cord because I I find it a lot better to, to move around and I have a water trap on the end of it as well as a water trap and regulator on the end of the compressor as well just as a double safety for getting water it gets very humid here so and this is my um, 3D printer which I made the paint stand with so I'm just in the process of doing some more modifications on this because the um, bottom plate was a bit thin so I've just put a new 3mm plate here and this is my borsalite glass bed that I put on so I'm just getting it all set up and I need to adjust these a bit more to make it a bit more sturdy do a couple of other things, make some test prints, make sure it's all working and then I can start printing stuff again and then this is my collection of airbrushes so this brush was the original brush that I got with the compressor so it's a uh, double action brush Uh, a bit dirty. I use it mainly for, um, I was using it for mud splatter last time on the other tank and also use it for uh, undercoats mainly. So it's, I think it's about a um, 3, 0.3 needle in there. Not a bad brush but it's a bit of a pain to clean. So also bought this brush here a while ago. So um, I've had one of these before but it was a, a cheaper variety. So but this one's quite good. So it's nice to use handle. So it's basically a single action brush and your, your cup screws in here and comes up so it's still a gravity feed. But um, you've got an adjustment on the back here and then obviously your air pressure. So, but it works quite well for spraying things. I used it to spray some of my model cars. The other one I bought is a um, copy of a Badger single action airbrush siphon feed. I was using that when I was doing some um, thicker paints, trying to paint a couple of um, drag cars. So um, I found that a bit easier to use for that particular thing. But this is my main airbrush I use now all the time. So this is my Evolution. So the kit comes with two needles. It's got a 0.2 and a 0.4. I've got the 0.4 in there at the moment. Because I have a hell of a time trying to spray MIGS paints at the moment through this and I'll thin them a fair bit. I found the 0.4 is better for that type of thing for base layers and then I've, I bought the, um, the bigger cup with it as well. So I don't use the smaller one that often anymore so spraying large areas. And then my other airbrush which I haven't used much yet but it's the Another um, hardest scene back, and it's the Evolu uh, Infinity. So it's got a little adjustment on the back, so you can actually set it so how far the trigger comes back. So you can actually paint a standard set of lines. So this would be more for like doing the camouflages, painting small parts, and so forth. It's still got the 0.2 needle in it. Again, I bought the bigger cup, and it has the. Um, it didn't have the 0.4 needle. It's only got the 0.2. Sorry. But that's a, um, a great airbrush and the end's easy to clean with the swiping but the biggest benefit of buying these airbrushes is actually cleaning them so you can actually pull the needle out of them and the other airbrushes you've got a fart ass about with a little spanner up here to undo them this is all done by hand when you pull the needle out the actual trigger doesn't fall out like on the other airbrushes and it's really fiddly to put back in if you do take the trigger out it takes about 30 seconds to put the trigger back in then put your needle back in so it was one of the reasons I bought it was the actual 
you can just pull it apart in five seconds, put it back together again, have it all clean for your next job. Apart from that, they're really nicely made. They feel really good as well. And I like the little front part so that you can actually... makes it easier to wipe and clean your needle. And you can see the build-up on the needle there as well, if you need to. Okay, so that's about it. Hope you like that. And then that was my workbench over here. And a bit of storage over here. And some more storage underneath and storage wherever I can actually find it. I'm a bit short on space. Okay, see ya.